Hello, everyone. Welcome to this live stream where we're going to be talking about harnessing the energy of your emotions that we all have in this insane, sane, crazy, awesome, amazing time of living at the brink of creating an entirely new way for the entire society of our planet to exist. Who is ready to go? I know I am. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I'm ready for us to show up as we were meant to as super conscious leaders to stop pretending like we're leading anything when all we're doing is talking back and forth to each other and handing, giving each other claps on the back. So this live stream is going to be teaching you all about how to take all those amazing emotions that you've been feeling, all the feels that you feel, and to stop saying, oh, but I'm just going to transmute them and I'm going to turn them into love and light. Okay. Love and light are great. Okay, I love everyone and I am filled so bright with light, but the sun loves us too. <laughs> and he is a big old ball of fire. So before we jump into it, y'all, let's make sure we set an intention. Lighting our candle. Oh, we're going to make sure the communication streams are clear, calling on Mercury's and Hermes and Thoth to really open those communication lines that everything spoken about is for the highest good of all, invoking Venus so that we know that we are in love and high vibration, Jupiter, Saturn, connecting to the discipline and the abundance that is available for us when we actually show up in our craft and live our processes instead of just following the word of someone else, we actually live as we 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 are all that we preach to be and that is going to what is is what's going to change the world it's just that simple being all that you preach to be and lighting our incense as always lighting the incense from the candle that you set your intention with so that the incense is also infused with that intention oh i'm just coming in to this space right here and right now Dang, I want to stay lit. And coming in a figure eight motion. So always coming in this figure eight, bringing the polarities into singularity, setting this as a sacred time and sacred container, whether you are live or on the replay that you're really going to show up and learn something and experience a shift in your vibration from hearing these words knowing that you are watching for a reason you you're here you're turned in for a reason so how y'all doing with all the fills that are going around in the universe right now right it's a lot it's a lot going on here especially in america some crazy shit's been going down in the 3d and it's all a big fucking distraction all of it it's a distraction from what it is that we are really here to do, which is to create the reality for everyone else that we can live heaven on earth. We can already have unlimited bliss, love, wealth, joy, success, pleasure. All of it is available to us right now when we are able to use our ability to command time and space as sovereign manifestors and make all of our lives manifest the glory of God that is within us. Okay. So to jump off real quick, as we come in here, I'm going to start really like grounding all this down for you in two ways. One, I'm going to read you the Marianne Williamson quote, which is the mission statement to my business, which is called heart womb leadership. Heart wombs are an organ that dragons possess where they're able to create what it is they truly value and harness that and then birth it. They are the cosmic birthers of all reality. So when I'm working with dragon energies, that's where we're at. We are the cosmic mothers, even if you're a man. <laughs> we are the cosmic birthers of all reality and we are impenetrable spellbinders we are we are big we are loud we're, we're we're fucking dragons okay we are dragons so if you want something soft and light and maybe a little easier to digest not gonna be that for you uh dragons eat whole ox and we still digest them just fine um <laughs> so we're gonna start with the quote by marianne williamson this is a pretty well-known one, at least the beginning of it. I'm going to read the whole thing because the whole thing is the mission statement for my business and what it is that I'm here to do when I help companies, causes, and communities, and campaigns, right? So I help everyone who 
really wants to see a big shift. And that's why I say that I work with super conscious leaders, those who are willing to leave their own echo chambers as conscious leaders and move into the super conscious realm, which is the ability to transmute all of the energies that are going on out there within yourself in command time and space, no matter what you can create from chaos. And I promise you, I'm going to tell you exactly how to do that in this live stream, but we're going to need some context before we get there. So quote from Marianne Williamson reads like this. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It's not just in some of us. It's in everyone. And when we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give others permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fears, our presence automatically liberates others. Okay, so I'm going to read that last part again. As we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fears, our presence automatically liberates others. Okay? Our presence our beingness. It's not that you are embodying your sovereign higher self. It's that you be sovereign. It's that you be the Buddha. As soon as you go out to seek the Buddha, you have forgotten that you are the Buddha. You are an aspect of the creator manifest in form creating your own reality. Everyone is doing this right now. Every person on the planet is creating their own reality based on their own conscious and unconscious programming and the society and system programming that they are subscribed to right now. If you don't like the channel, change the station. Right? You don't like the music? Change the station. You don't like what's on the TV? Change the channel. New Earth is a channel that already is here. It's already something that we're tuning into. I am on the New Earth channel 24 hours a day. Okay? My best friend is on the same thing. Clients, my clients are the ones that have, they've been watching the old 3D channel for a fucking while and they're really bored with it and they want to watch the New Earth channel. It already exists right now. It's not going to take some great star alignment. It's not going to be a portal day. It's not going to be a magnitude blah, 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 bullshit. It's not going to be any of that. It is a singular choice. Hold on for a second. I want to mute my phone because I don't want to get distracted again. a choice. Okay. So humans, we have emotions. Humans have emotions. Literally the reason why you're here on this planet is to feel your emotions, is to feel, is to have tangible 3D stuff that you hold and touch and to have the emotions. Other star systems, other star beings, they don't have emotion the way that we do. They don't have 3D the way that we do. They're able to manipulate. They're clear. They're telepathic. They have full unity consciousness, which means that everyone is in each other's brains all the time. Very much like the Borg. 
except for there the Borg is just one singular queen that's just like sending her information through everyone else. This is everyone's consciousness being linked together and you constantly hear everybody in your head. Okay. The Pleiadians come to Earth to learn about being human because we are a pleasure planet, because we have tangible feelings, because we can feel. And guess what? The current station that most people are turned into is a numbing station, meaning they want to get you numbed the fuck out so that you're easier to program so that they can run their agenda. However, that might look for whomever they are. That's all victim consciousness. It's victimization fully and completely to believe that anyone is out there playing it, to say that it's this person or that person or this person or that person. It means you're being a victim and there are no victims because there's really only one rule on this planet. Do as thou will. And from that comes a secondary, which is there are no victims because as everyone's doing as thou will, then no one is a victim to anything. If everyone is doing as thy will, conscious or unconscious of the fact that they're doing it, that is still the number one thing through every text and every religion in every everything that you can see and know, do as thou will. If everyone, since everyone, not if, because, because everyone is doing as thou will, whether or not they're conscious of it is a different point. Everyone is doing as they will. They are all choosing to act in this play that they have written. There are no victims. Period. There are no victims. No one is victimized. You believe that there are all these past lives that you built up all this karma for. And you come onto this planet and the way that you're experiencing your life is exactly correlated to the way that you have lived previous lives and you have created this karma that you're now playing out. How can you be victimized when you know the reason why your life is the way it is is because of the karma of past life choices? You are not a victim. You are not a victim. No one is. There is no such thing as a victim. That is a lie that has been taught to you to keep you afraid because it's easier to give you security than it is to give you freedom. So we've all subscribed to this global consciousness story of I'll give you my freedom if you give me security because I'm going to believe the story in my history that there are victims and that someone can harm me. I am the I am. I am an all-powerful dragon. I am an aspect of God manifest in form. You can't fucking hurt me. Bullshit. You can't hurt me. My daughter, my sons, my best friend, my husband, the children down the street, my grandfather, any person, you, me, the president, coming in or going out. The children in those countries all over the world that are starving right now that wish they had the privilege of the trauma that you keep walking around with are all aspects of the creator manifest in form. There are no victims. There are no victims. So why are you walking around being so angry about a system that you already subscribe to? Change your subscription. Change the subscription. I'm passionate as hell today, as you can see. I'm wearing my yellow. I got my willpower. I've been burning the same sun incense all day long. <sighs> Two days ago, I was bawling my eyes out on a live stream. Crying so hard. Because I have those human emotions and there is energy within them. I am allowed to feel my emotions because that's what I choose to do. I tried to numb them. PTSD, fibromyalgia, degenerative disc disease, all of this. I've suffered more than most people can imagine. And yet not suffered at all compared to other people that I can imagine. It's all perspective. 
some people would look at me and say, oh my God, you had PTSD from that. Let me tell you what gave me PTSD. And I would say that would have made me kill myself or I would have died. I wouldn't have made it through. But yeah, I had PTSD from being, from all of it, from whatever. Like the, how I got it is irrelevant. That's what I had. And that was the story that I subscribed to. And then I story subscribed to a story where my PTSD had physicalized into fibromyalgia. And then I subscribed to a story where prescription drugs tried to kill me. And then I subscribed to a story where I was a danger drinking mom. And then I subscribed to a story where I was a cannabis activist who was using cannabis to help with my fibro. And then I subscribed to a story where I actually didn't have fibromyalgia at all. And here we are. Your energy is what creates your life. So if you're always stuck in these sad energies, and it's not even sad, in energies that have been told by you, to you, by other people, that they are low vibe, okay? There is no fucking such thing as a low vibe energy, okay? Saying that you're going to go low vibe or someone's being low vibe or that sadness is low vibe or anger is low vibe or self worth is high vibe and love is high vibe that is all fucking subjective they're emotions they are all energy in motion and they all can produce change and you know what i've known most change to occur because of said low vibe vibrations right amber alerts Ain't nobody ever heard of an Amber Alert before Elizabeth Smart got kidnapped back in the early 2000s. That was fear and that was sadness. Those are pretty low vibe, right? I love you too, Maggie. You're all playing this play together. Yeah, exactly. Whew. Your emotions have so much energy. Martin Luther King Jr. was pissed. He was pissed. He was sad. He changed the world. Jesus? Does anyone know the parable of Jesus in the temple and when they were defaming the house of God and how Jesus rolled up into the Senate and started turning tables and was pissed off and said, not in my father's house and told them to get the fuck out? Anybody? Yeah, Jesus was not a PC keyboard warrior. Stop being a PC keyboard warrior and show the fuck up by using your emotions, your rage, your anger, your sadness, your frustration, all of it. You are allowed to feel it and I feel it too. I've been saying it and saying it and saying it and I will say it again until it finally fucking clicks. When you feel it all, you empaths out there in the back. Hey, empaths in the back, I'm talking to you. Empathy is not a weakness. It's a motherfucking superpower. When you can feel it all, you are tuned in, you are tapped in, and you are turned on to the universal intelligence and knowledge the infinite knowledge of source creation and you can create anything and you can live heaven on earth right fucking now. You can do it right now. And on top of that, on top of that, you have permission to not say a single word while you're doing it. Let us remember, as we are liberated from our own fears, our presence automatically liberates others. So just being sovereign without having to tell other people that you are sovereign liberates them. It's so easy. It's so easy. <laughs> so simple. The energy in your sadness that you sit there and you're like, oh my God, I cried for like seven days and I'm just so tired and I'm sick of crying and I just wish that the world would be better and why don't the people in our systems understand and it's just so hard. Guys, it's so hard. It's the worst thing ever. Our lives are falling apart and I don't know what to do. 
I can make myself cry in an instant. I should have an Oscar. Actors are always crying. Actors are always on TV doing some dumb shit. Half the people I know think that what happened in the Congress the other day was paid actors. I don't know. I'm not saying that. I'm just like, it's possible. Emotions are easily manipulated. Information is easily manipulated. So how do you harness the energy of all the emotions being blasted at you while also being able to turn that energy around and just work on the energy and stop paying attention to the emotion, right? It doesn't matter if I'm angry. It doesn't matter if I'm sad. It doesn't matter if I'm happy. I can still create from the chaos going around me because it's the energy in motion the energy in motion of the emotions that I'm actually interested in learning how to manipulate and play with and command throughout space and time because I am what? Oh yeah, an aspect of God manifest in form playing a fucking game. It's all a game. Are you winning? Are you losing? That's your choice. You make up the rules. When you have the backbone necessary to have your own set of values because it's not the beliefs that were given to you at birth but you have tested them and they are tried and true methods that you know to be true for you they might not be true for other people but they're true for you and you know that in your fucking bones ain't nothing gonna stop you you could have your entire skeleton full of closets and that trap door right because we all have one right we've got the skeletons in our closet and we're like yeah yeah look at my skeletons in my closet see i'm i'm a bad person i'm bad but there's really that like trap door in the back of the closet there you're like please do not look underneath the trap door in my skeletons of clothes don't do that don't do that right when you have the fearlessness right as we as we liberate ourselves from our own fears, which is the things that are sitting in the trap door underneath your closet of skeletons. When you can open that baby up and let Pandora's box just go through your life and still be standing like two ends and game motherfucking over game over for the old paradigm, because there's nothing less to shame us about. You are unshameable. Dragons are unshameable. Dragons eat people. They're not ashamed of it. They burn down fucking villages. They ain't ashamed of it. They have gold beyond gold beyond gold. They can't even spend it because they don't go shopping. They ain't ashamed of it. They are the most powerful creators. They are the protectors. They are the only known uh, mythical creature that inhabits every single lore in every single area around the world there are other areas that like okay kind of pick up here and there on like maybe nymphs and fairies and gnomes dragons are literally everywhere because they used to walk the earth with us very like in together when we had more magic and real in okay like they're here right now i speak to dragons all the time but that's because i'm living in a rel in a level of reality where i do that the other people around me can't see them but i see them Okay, when we can do our own inner work, our own inner work, we don't have to tell people about it. We don't have to go and tell people how amazing our, our transformation is and how liberated we are and how sovereign we are. Our presence of being sovereign, of being dragons, liberates others so that they have permission to shine too. You know as well as I that 99% of America doesn't like what's going on right now, would agree with each other, doesn't matter what their political ideologies are. Most of them don't even fit into the two-party system that we currently have. America is literally the only first world country on the fucking planet that only has two parties represented in our, in our major legislative body right now. And we've had three, but there's only been a couple of independents here and there. India has 18. Germany has five. Australia has eight. There is not another country on the planet that uses the democratic republic process that our constitution was based off of that only has two motherfucking parties. You are playing in polarity. You're playing in polarity. 
You have a choice, black or white, red or blue. There's no in between. So you want me to live in a black and white world when I know that Technicolor exists? Fuck off. Fuck off. No. I will always, always, always choose the Technicolor version of Pleasantville over the black and white version. Some of you are just like, oh shit, I haven't thought about Pleasantville in years. But you know exactly what I'm talking about. We have the power to change society right now. And it's so easy. The first thing you do is when an emotion hits you from an outside thing, you say, Ugh. and I mean, if you have to out loud in front of the person who's asking you to put on your, make an audible orgasmic sound, you do that. When you start being like, oh my God, I would never not walk around with my on. Then you should go, oh, why? Why? Why are you so afraid? You are an aspect of the creator manifested in form. There is no victims. You can't be hurt. There are no snakes. You teach this to your clients. You preach it to everyone that will listen. You've got books and books and books filled with it. You got tarot cards for days. You got pendulums. You got hoppe. You got cannabis. You got mugwort. You got rose oil. You got sound baths and tuning forks. You have all of these external tools. And it's all just you. It's just you. I am just you. I am just a part of you that is trying to get through all of the other noise and tell you, stand the fuck up for what you believe. Be content and happy with your life right now, knowing that doing so means that change is inevitable. Stop running from your nightmares and start chasing your fucking dreams. And don't just chase them, live them right now, right now, in freedom. Harness those emotions and use them as dragon's breath and burn down the areas that you don't agree with. You know, I have clients, they're running for city council now. They had never even thought about running for office. And because of the last couple of days, they're like, fuck it. 2021 is an off year election. I actually have a way that I can show up for my country. I could actually win. I know my current city council person and they're about to step down. Maybe I could take her out to lunch. Filings are starting to open in like three weeks in most country, in most cities all over the country. And I know I've got international people. So good, Jordan. Good. I love it. I got people international, but you still have voting. You still have a way. So maybe you don't want to have a campaign. Cool. I love working on campaigns. It's one of my favorite things in the world. If you're looking to work with someone who wants to, and you're wanting to run for office, please reach out and let me know how I can support you. Maybe it's a cause, right? We got someone on here right now. She owns an amazing uh, branding for cannabis. So she's got access to all this press, all these people, all this cannabis reform. We still have country or our whole country has yet to decide because Senate hasn't passed the bill that the house already passed on having federally legalized cannabis, at least on a medical level and soon on a recreational, because we all know that it's less dangerous than fucking alcohol, right? That's a cause. Maybe you're a water cause person. Maybe you're a, a BIPOC cause person, right? Maybe you're an LGBTQA person, whatever. I have literally marched for all of them. I am about sovereignty, freedom, liberty, and justice for all one planet under source. We all are source manifesting here right now <laughs> together, co-creating this moment together to remember that the closest, the closest being to source that we know of are dragons because they are the bridge between the between the all and the separate our dna is serpentine right the kundalini energy is serpentine dragon serpents death rebirth it's all of it 
manifested within you. You are a motherfucking dragon. You forgot it. You have, your voice is fire. You can burn it all down. You have plenty of abundance. You have a cave. You got a Gringotts filled with gold, right? Remember Harry Potter? He thinks he's poor as shit when he's a muggle. As soon as he finds out he's actually a sorcerer, he gets a vault filled with gold protected by a dragon. When you wake up to your magic, money is not an issue. It's just always coming from all over the place. Constantly. You don't even, you can't even catch up with it. So if that what it is, you need money for your cause, reach out. You want to figure out how to organize your cause, reach out. Please, I am so tired of the distractions of the 3D stopping, putting the whole spiritual and metaphysical world on fucking hold. Don't you see it's a ploy by now? Don't you see they are using our emotions against us to get us to stop creating? Because when we have our momentum going, we start moving the ball and we start moving towards critical mass where we're going to have an eventual shift in all of global consciousness and everyone is going to realize that heaven on earth actually already exists. We're not creating anything. The channel for new earth is there. Just turn you have to tune into it. You are the radio station. Or you're the receiver here. Change the channel. If you don't like what you're seeing in the 3D hell, change the channel to 5D New Earth. And guess what? It's a single fucking choice. Do I get consumed by my sadness or I, don't, I go create from it? Do I get consumed by my anger and burn down my own personal world? Or do I harness the anger and blow fucking dragon's fire all over the world that I am not impressed with? And can I do it with impenetrable scales? Okay. Anybody seen Lord of the Rings? Gonna assume so. The Hobbit, Smaug. Smaug has impenetrable scales, meaning they try to hit him with literally everything and nothing works. The only thing that finally gets, gets him is a one in a gajillion shot because one single scale has fallen off over all the years. Bilbo or I don't even remember what happened. But there's a single scale that's missing. And when he shoots the bow, miraculously, he hit Smaug perfectly in the one little space where one scale was missing. Every other bow, fucking cannonballs, all of it is hitting this dragon and nothing happens. But one little, right? It's the same thing with Achilles, right? We remember the story of Achilles. He gets dipped into the water, but the place that his mother was holding when he she dipped him is weak. And they're able to get him. If Smile didn't have that one scale missing, he never would have died. So what is the one thing in your trap door? Remember, we got this closet full of skeletons back here. And we've more people are getting better about it, right? You're like, oh, that was such a vulnerable share. I love how authentic she is. She fucking picked it. I'm sorry. I got to call it as it is. The authenticity that we are seeing right now is all picked and pruned authenticity. Unless you have someone getting on a live while they're literally in the middle of their shit. A live, not a post. A live stream where you can see it in real motherfucking time. It's all pruned. It's all customized. It's all finessed. To look authentic. I've, I'm even guilty of doing that. I have totally used authentic vulnerable posts as a way to up my following in the past. Something that I did a couple of years ago until I realized what the fuck I was doing and then I stopped. <sighs> but it doesn't matter. I don't need to justify why I did it. There's a, tons of things. You wanna look in my closet? You wanna look in my trap door? I have aired it to the world and will continue, not continue to air it, but it's time to air out the dirty laundry. I am finally taking control and authority in all of these areas of my life that I would really like kind of sort of do the work in and not really. That's why you haven't seen me since October. That's why really, not really, you see me on my weekly live streams, but I was showing up like this and not with this kind of passion. Because I had to take, I had to become Hercules. 
that's that's the best way to push it. Since August, I've been Hercules, trying just like to shovel out the shit in the stable. And then finally I realized on the last couple of weeks, the best way to clean out that stable is to move the river. So I done walked over to the river and I picked it up and I moved it and I've cleaned out that shitty stable. And now it's all nice and clean and I'm ready to build some more. Maybe we'll put some curtains in there, get some new horses. The point of the matter is that unless you have the tenacity of an Olympian, you're not going to make it. Who's not? It's fine. Go to one of those hippie communes. Go to one of the new earth utopias. Transcend your human form. That's happening a lot. I mean, we've already been told that a one third will make it. One third will go insane and one third will just die off. So it's really your choice. Again, there are no victims. You have a choice in everything, in literally everything. Are you going to choose to do a little bit of work and work with your clients and share with your really close friends and you do some, some conscious uncoupling from your husband that just doesn't get it? You know, there's so many ways that you can play small right now in the spiritual community and in the New Earth movement. Like, go right ahead. You're, you are welcome. Please go and enjoy. Go enjoy the level of bliss that you believe you are worthy of. I want you to. I really, truly, from the depths of my heart, want every person to find the level of bliss that they believe they are worthy of. I'm offering you a chance to know that you are worthy of the keys to the kingdom of heaven because you are the creator manifested in form, creating your reality right now. I don't want you to play small. I don't want you to dim your light at all. I want you to show up bigger. I want you to show up brighter. I want you to become impenetrable. Dragons are big. We are big. Huge. Huge. Dragons are huge. We are impenetrable. Impenetrable spellbinders actually cast spells and we know they are done. There's not a question whether or not a spell I've done is done. It is done. Doesn't matter if I did it six months ago or if I did it yesterday. The result will happen from any spell that I cast. And my spell weaving happens all the time. Every word that I say, I am I am a word weaver. Definitely. Because I know that I am word. In the beginning there was the word, and the word was God. I am God, therefore I am the word, therefore every word I say is a spell, so I should probably be very intentional about what words I say. They call it spell ing. Spellcasting, broadcasting. Back to your regularly scheduled 3D bullshit. Great. And we're all sick of it and we're all annoyed by it, but then they get the whole, all of us to fight with each other. My God, the amount of infighting that was happening in the spiritual societies in the last three days is mind boggling. I thought you guys were all love and light, but apparently unless I have the exact same political views as you, I can go just jump off a motherfucking cliff. Half of you don't even know your civil rights. That's, that's a huge part of it. A huge part of it is that it doesn't seem like anybody in the spiritual community has any fucking clue what their rights are as an actual citizen. It's all going to change. It's It has to change. It's There's no other choice. And if that means that's me by myself creating curriculum for light workers on how to become a citizen, then God damn it, I'll do it. Because we deserve to live as one planet under source with liberty and justice for all. We all deserve new earth. Every single one of us. Every one of us deserves it. You deserve it. I deserve it. The boy down the street deserves it. Trump deserves it. Biden deserves it. The people who stormed the Capitol deserve it. The people that were protesting for BLM deserve it. Everyone deserves it. Because we are all children of God. Here to make manifest the glory of God that resides in each and every single one of us. We are all here to birth reality together, conscious unity creation of a place where every single child and man and woman, I don't know how to say that word out loud yet, but I'm working on it, is 
absolutely deserving of clean water, healthy food, medicine from all over the world. I want to be able to choose whether I'm taking Percocet or some crazy mashup of herbs from some shaman in the middle of some place that I've never heard of. Okay, so all medicine equal there. Shelter, education, technology, and the ability to choose what they want to create. Now, you could present something to someone, all of it. Here's your food, here's your education, here's your technology, and they have the right to deny it. And it's not your job to force it on them. It's not your fault job to force feed a starving person okay just like it's not your job to heal make sure that nobody ever overdoses from drugs let's just make sure they have clean needles right let's make sure that the black market isn't existing the way it is because the black market causes so many other you know uh collateral damage so they say right i don't have a problem with drugs at all illegal ones or legal ones Legal ones I actually have more of a problem with because they seem to be killing more people. But at the same time, there are no victims. Ergo, I really don't have a problem with it. It's just a reality that I don't decide to subscribe to because I did almost die from taking prescription drugs multiple times. I didn't, my, my resonance field and prescription drug energy does not apparently commingle. So I am someone who chooses plant medicine. Always. <sighs> Committing to the New Earth mission means that you understand that you chose to be here as a human. And as a human, you have emotions. And as a human, you have a choice. Always, in always, with everything. You can choose to be a PC keyboard warrior. And I will still know that you are an aspect of the creator manifested in form singing your own song and I will love you. You can choose to go run for office and I will know that you are an aspect of the creator manifest in form and I will love you. You can go murder someone today. I wouldn't recommend it. I'm not recommending it, but I would still know that you are an aspect of the creator manifest in form and I would still love you. There is nothing that you have done that could cause me not to love you. Because you and I are the same. We are all aspects of the creator manifest in form, creating our realities. Now, some of you, we never have come into the same sphere together. You don't even know how you happened upon this live stream or why the fuck you watched for 42 minutes of it. And yet you have. Because there is something magnetizing about witnessing someone who knows how to be in the presence of pure light and love, who actually understands that Jesus and Lucifer were the same person. I think I just blew your mind. Lucifer does mean the bringer of light, so let's just remember that. Jesus would get mad. He flipped over tables, told everyone to get out of his daddy's house. Martin Luther King Jr. was pissed. Joan of Arc, Joan of Arc was livid. She was mad and she was terrified. So scary, so scary, so terrifying. And yet she led the French army to victory over the English after a hundred years war. And Joan of Arc only actually fought in three battles, by the way, and she still won that shit. And what did she say? I was born to do this. She was born to change the world and to burn at the stake for doing it. She knew she could die. That's the energy of a warrior. That's the energy of an Olympian. In the original Olympics, people died in the original Olympics. Legitimately died. And it was the Olympians because the only other people, only other beings on in existence that anyone knew that had the strength to finish those feats 
were the gods themselves. That was the closest a human could get to godhood would to be an Olympian. Can you be an energetic Olympian? Can you take all of the emotions, all of the fear, all of the sadness, all of the rage, all of the disgust? That's a huge one right now. I'm just disgusted with the world. I just want to throw up. Can you take it all and turn it into dragon's fire and burn down the illusion for others, right? Can you shine so bright that you are this big ball of energy like our sun and not supernova? Most stars supernova. Anybody ever like, I? that's a whole nother live stream. They fucking blow up. When a star supernovas, it blows up, okay? Supernova is not a positive thing. Harnessing the energy of the sun and being able to shine so brightly just by being you, dragon, fearless, authentic, vulnerable, raw, emotional. I've had tons of emotions on this live stream. I'm not ashamed of them. Why would I be? I don't feel guilty about anything that I've said. Why would I? I'm not afraid what I've said is going to come back and bite me in the ass. Why? How is that serving anything? It's not. It doesn't serve. And I'm here to serve. This is what I was born to do. To call out the conscious leaders and say, you want to up your game? You want to become super conscious? You want to see what it's like to know for a fact that your God manifests in form and that no one and no thing has power over you and to do whatever it takes, no matter what, to achieve your goal. And our all of us have the same goal, right? To liberate all beings from the illusion of suffering. The illusion of suffering. Heaven on earth is right now. It's a channel that you subscribe to. Are you subscribing to the channel where emotions are bad, where you should numb yourself, where you need to go back and forth and cut people from your lives and all of this pain and all this victimhood and all this suffering and all this hell on earth that right now most of the population is still subscribed to? Or are you going to subscribe to the channel that already exists because I'm on it? Dylan's hella on it. Hi, Dylan. Other people on this, on here, Olivia... Hi, everyone. Jordan, Azra, Maggie, all of you guys are on the channel because you're listening to me. I don't talk in the other channel. I'm not there. So you're clearly tuned into the 5D channel right now. Can you be here all the time? Heaven on Earth already exists. Go look at Marianne Williamson, Marie Forleo, Tony Robbins, Gabrielle Bernstein. All of them. They live heaven on Earth. And then when they dip back down, you can totally tell their posts are different. The energy around them is different. They don't sound the same. They don't dress the same. It's so fucking obvious. It's okay. Sometimes I even head back down to the 3D every once in a while. I told you I was there for like a good chunk of the end of last year. But that's because I was trying to shovel shit out instead of just moving a river. I moved the river, cleared it out, and here we are. Because accelerated time and space, time and space, I command it. I can literally alchemize what other people are telling you is going to happen in a six week program overnight, over fucking night. Because I have a tried and true process that takes me through believing that I could do it to fearlessly, authentically doing it. Some of it takes longer than others, but it's the same process. It doesn't matter. I've learned how to transcend all triggers and I teach my clients how to do the same. I show up the way that I do so that I can help companies, causes, campaigns, and individuals, and couples, all of them. Individuals, couples, companies, campaigns. It literally doesn't matter. I promise you, living in the super conscious, living heaven on earth is the way that you are able to harness all of those emotions, all of the energy and motion within each of your human emotions, and actually change the motherfucking planet, Okay the global consciousness will shift. New Earth already exists and you have the choice of whether or not you're going to be a little flashlight along the trail, like just a person on the trail with your own personal flashlight, like, yeah, I'm headed to New Earth, y'all. 
Or are you going to be a lighthouse that goes like this and, like, sometimes people can't see because the light is, like, not always there? Or are you going to be the sun? Are you going to be a star? Are you going to be a global luminary? Illuminating the globe as a dragon, showing the fuck up, being the kundalini, being God manifest in form. Being able to play the game. I'm so excited to run for office, guys. Playing the game is going to be the funnest thing I've ever done. Are you able to play the game? <laughs> and know that there are no victims. <laughs> can you be called all the worst names that you can imagine and be like, oh, is that the best you can do? I'm giddy. I'm ready. I'm, I've been waiting. I thought I was ready last year and then COVID hit and like no one was, was ready. But literally a year ago today, around now, I was starting to talk about super conscious leaders and fearless authenticity in a whole new way. And then COVID hit. And it's been kind of crazy since then. Uh, and now we're back. We're ready. Let's do this. I know that this is what I was born to do. I was put on this fucking planet. I chose to incarnate in this planet at this time for this very reason. This reason right here to be speaking with you. You. And to tell you that I love you. And that I know who you are as a fractal of God. And I know what you are as a creator manifested in form. And I know how you serve by singing your own song and living in a vibration of what it is that you know you're worth. And I'm here to welcome you into a vibration of knowing that you are worth it all. You can have it all if you allow yourself to feel it all. Feel it all and you will be able to claim the keys to the heaven on earth. And it's a great place to play and a great crazy place to create from we're creating a lot of cool stuff here i can't even talk about half the stuff that we're creating because that would be like another hour long live <laughs> i love you all thank you so much for being here today oh thank you dylan damn i need to hear this today inspired she's on fire love it love you all thank you so much for joining me today Sunday morning coffee with Karen is going to be 10 a.m. this week. Calling all dragons. Be there. We're going to be talking about how dragon energy can be utilized in a really playful, powerful way. Um, this was just one that needed to come out before that, just with all the crazy that was happening with the current situation going on in America. It's just crazy. Um, yeah. Can you play? Can you allow yourself to play? Can you allow yourself to smile all the time? Uh, despite it all, like, despite how mad and sad I've been over the last couple of days, I've still been able to find joy because I've been able to feel the creative flow, right? The willpower of changing the world is so strong that the creative flow is just going. The fire is stoked, right? Use it. Use all the energy that's around you right now to your advantage. You are a powerful metaphysician. You have the capacity to suck up all of that energy with like a vacuum hose and use all of the energy that's just being dispersed, right? So that they're being victimized by it, but they don't have the tools necessary to use that energy. They don't know what else to do. They're still subscribed to the channel that tells them that they need to numb their emotions or rage out or block everyone or whatever. That's their subscription. That's fine. But what they're really doing is blasting off all this energy that's free resources for those of us that know how to harness it. Go fucking harness some energy and create some cool shit. Okay? If you need any support in doing this, if you are ready to show up as a global luminary, please reach out to me. I'm going to be opening a new, um, a new mastermind here at the end of the month. But if you're interested now, reach out and I will talk to you about it. I would love to have you in there. I'm, I'm ready. The world is going to burn in 2021 and it is the year of the Phoenix rising and it is so fucking beautiful to watch because I know that I can walk through fire and not get burned. 
I wonder if you can say the same. Love you.